What's up guys? This is my official review of Rodeo Stampede, a new runner in the App Store that's currently featured. Look at it, it looks kind of like Clash Royale text there. So this game is kind of fun. I was streaming it today, thought I would do an official review on the channel now that I've got um, about two hours playing time in. This is the boat, kind of weird. This is the zoo, and I've gotten all these things for free. Haven't put in any money, it's a free game. I have all these enclosures. You Basically what you do is you ride these animals, okay? And I know that sounds weird, but I'm going to show you how to play it. Really fun game. Kind of reminds me of Crossy Road, but better. Let's go ahead and we're going to ride the ostrich. And I've got pictures. I've named them. You can name the animals. Basically what happens is you discover these animals and you can ride them. You can tame them. Um, and then they become yours. Okay, so it's real simple mechanics. You touch the screen and you just move back and forth. Now you see that red exclamation mark? That means she's angry. And when she gets angry, she starts running really, really fast because she's trying to buck me off. She's not happy. And this is how we jump. So once we let go of the screen, we jump. And then we went and landed on the elephant. Now the elephant can run over everything. Now watch what's gonna happen. The elephant's gonna get mad. He's gonna toss me forward. Can I make it? I barely lasso onto that wildebeest there. The game's really, really fun. Really, really addicting. Again, it's free, free game. I don't know where they make their money because so far I've been able to get so much stuff free in the game. But I like the game. All that it's lacking right now is multiplayer! Just ran into that ostrich. So you run down this lane. It's your standard runner game. But for some reason, more addicting than other runners I've played. I like it a lot. It's just, uh, you just can't stop playing it. So here's some, so really it's just swiping left and right like this. That's how you move. And then, watch, we're going to go really fast. When you get the ostrich, she is so good. You can run super fast. Little tip, you got to look ahead of where you're running. Don't look where you are. Look ahead so you know what, where to move. So you can move super fast. So there's a 1,000 meters. Things are going to start getting tough here. we got to split the middle. We split the middle. Let's go left, right, left, right. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. How did we miss all those guys? Okay, so she's angry. She's running real fast. We have to jump. We have to switch animals. Get something a little bit more chill. We're at 1,600 meters right now. And this game's good. I think it's worth a try as a free game. I can't think, and I can see why they featured in the App Store. I don't see um, many games of this caliber that get me addicted. Oh, get something. Yes, we jumped up. We got the zebra. Okay, we're at 2,100 meters. Wouldn't that be awesome if we got a high score right now? This is going to be tough. This is the ravine. Stuff gets really, really difficult. And I jumped, and I just landed right there. So what you do with my finger, what you're not seeing is, as long as you're holding on the screen, you stay riding the animal. When you left off, he jumps, and then you press again to lasso an animal and get back on the next one. So let's go ahead and touch and hold the ostrich. Going real fast. Go. That sucks. Dude, somebody at my house is like laughing so hard right now. I have to go out there and see what's so funny. And it's not me. So I think this game's worth a try. Last time I played a runner game was Subway Surfers. And Subway Surfers, I don't know, it got kind of old. Um, this game, I like, I don't know. For right now, it feels better than Subway Surfers to me. It's just fun. Like, look at me, I'm running so fast, weaving in and out of stuff. And the animals get raging. Now what happens, you're not going to see this, I'm going to post it in another video, but what happens, once you progress to a certain point, and I've already unlocked a lot of them, you start to see, oh, see what happened? I launched myself into that huge wall. What happens is, as you progress in the game, you're going to see animals, and it's going to say new, and then you could launch yourself and land on new animals, and then you have to ride them for eight seconds to tame them. There's daily missions that you can play to get free gold as well. Sorry that I just shook the camera. And then the way you judge where you're going to jump, it's wherever your animal's pointing. If it's pointing to the right and you release your thumb, boom, you're going to fly off. Now, I am playing on an iPad, and I think it would be easier to play on an iPhone. The reason I play on an iPad for YouTube is because then the screen is a little bit wider. And since this is a vertical game, I, I want to make the screen as wide as possible for the viewers for YouTube so you guys can see. I hate when I see somebody on a skinny iPhone on YouTube because it's just so small. So what I do is I play on the iPad to get it wider. And then in addition to that, I'll widen it even more. We just broke through all that. That was crazy. Oh my gosh, that was wild. Holy crap, we're going fast. Let's get this box. <gasps> oh my gosh, we made it through all that stuff. That was awesome. We're at 1,600 meters. This is, uh, this is fun. Oh my gosh, and I just launched. That's my review, my official review. I think this game is, uh, is a good game. Might be worth something for you to try out. Again, it's Rodeo Stampede, free in the App Store, featured by Apple, and I think it's worth a try. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. Let me know in the comments. Do you want to see more gameplay on this game? I'm going to start doing random reviews of games that I play that I find fun because I'm just looking for new games and I'm excited for new games. Let's go back to the zoo. I think my zoo is going to be open. 
This is another way you get free gold, watch. So I've got all these enclosures, I hit open for business, and people come to this floating zoo in the sky, and they give me a bunch of gold, so I hit open zoo, so it seems really easy. They come into this helicopter bus, a little ramp comes out, and here everybody comes, and look, my gold just popped up to 311, just like that. So then I can go ahead and I can come in here and I can upgrade stuff, and you'll see upgrading the enclosure, upgrading the ostrich habitat, that's what it does. I've got the elephant habitat, all these different animals that I've unlocked and tamed as I've been playing the game. We can, it looks like we've got another enclosure, so there's probably still a lot of stuff. Let's upgrade the ostrich, because that's the one of my favorite. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.